हेलो एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द विप्रो इलाइट एन टी एच इन सम और द अदर वे द प्रोबेबल डेट्स फॉर द विप्रो टेस्ट आर एटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो विथ जस्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व डेज लेफ्ट फॉर द टेस्ट वी आर हियर विद अ वीडियो टू शेयर अ प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर विप्रो यू ऑल माइट बी इन डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ प्रिपरेशन सम ऑफ यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड सम ऑफ यू माइट बी येट टू स्टार्ट but this video will help all of you to get direction and focus in your preparation make sure you watch this video till the end to get a complete idea of how you can prepare for wipro in the coming 10 to 12 days so let's start before that don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to remain updated with our latest videos so we will be discussing section wise important topics how to prepare for those and the most important that is time management so we know that there are total 5 areas you need to focus on that is quantitative aptitude logical reasoning verbal ability the coding part and the essay writing so let's start one by one the first part you need to focus on that is the quantitative aptitude so what i have done is i have divided the quantitative aptitude topics into two parts uh, i have categorized one as high priority topics and the second one as other topics having done analysis with uh, previous year wipro questions we have found uh, that the high priority topics are the topics from which the questions are definitely going to come in the exam and the count will be also more and the other topics which i have mentioned definitely there will be sums but the count from these particular topics will be less okay so uh, these are the important topics as you can check percentage profit loss simple and compound interest speed distance time and problems on trains probability and permutation combination time and work and pipe systems inverse problems based on inverse hcf lcm there are some other topics also uh, on which wipro has asked questions previously but the number of questions asked were less uh, topics like averages clocks and calendar ratio proportion and partnership and numbers and divisibility okay so you need to uh, study all these topics but try to prioritize the topics first uh, start studying the high priority topics okay so now how will you exactly start studying generally what happens whenever you want to start any particular topic we don't know how to start so basically what your motto should be from each and every topic you need to at least solve at least 15 questions but one very important condition you need to focus on is all these 15 problems should be of different types like 15 different types of problems from percentage similarly 15 different types of problems from profit and loss and so on okay so whenever you are going to solve 15 different types maybe there are uh, in some topics there will be just 8 to 10 types maybe there are some topics wherein you will just find 4 to 5 types okay so if you solve and go through different types of problems it will be easier for you to face the actual questions in the exam whenever they are going to ask you any type so rather than solving same type of problems repetitively it will be your job to find out different types of problems from a same topic okay so in this way you need to first cover the high priority topics and then go to the other topics next important section the logical reasoning section again i have mentioned some high priority topics that is coding decoding direction sense sitting arrangements blood relation that is family tree number series letter series and odd man out statement conclusion data sufficiency there are also some uh, problems based on the topics syllogisms and logical word sequence okay again you need to follow the same strategy in uh, studying for this particular topics try to solve or find at least 5 to 6 types of problems in each topic okay so whenever you are going for direction sense or statement conclusion try to check out different types of problems in a particular topic okay so this is the verbal ability part there are topics important topics like error spotting sentence improvement and correction reading comprehension subject verb agreement okay articles prepositions conjunctions synonyms and antonyms contextual vocabulary and there are some other topics like para jumble or sentence rearrangement and verbal analogies now uh, verbal ability has got uh, two parts like one part of verbal ability is based on some of the rules and techniques you can use to solve and the second part is purely based on the vocabulary 
लाइक इन द टॉपिक्स लाइक सिनोनिम्स एंड एंटोनिम्स कॉन्टेक्शुअल वोकैबलरी एंड वर्बल एनोलॉजीज वोकैबलरी प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट एंड द अदर टॉपिक्स लाइक सब्जेक्ट वर्क एग्रीमेंट आर्टिकल्स और एरर स्पॉटिंग द ग्रामर पार्ट और द रूल्स एंड टेक्निक पार्ट विल टेक द मेजर रोल सो मेक श्योर दैट वेन एवर यू आर फेसिंग वर्बल एबिलिटी टॉपिक्स और स्टडिंग फॉर वर्बल एबिलिटी टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन द टॉपिक्स विच आर बेस्ड ऑन ग्रामर एंड रूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स विच यू कैन यूज राइट सो वोकैबलरी पार्ट्स आर डेफिनेटली द मोर द नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स यू नो इट विल बी इजियर फॉर दैट सेक्शन सो इन वर्बल एबिलिटी मेक श्योर दैट फॉर पर टॉपिक यू सॉल्व एट लीस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज वन वर्बल एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन इज नॉट गोइंग टू टेक यू मोर देन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स सो इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यू कैन सॉल्व एट लीस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन पर टॉपिक to make sure you get a good grip over them when it comes to coding part you can start studying with the basics of loops how they work give high priority to pattern printing programs since they have asked a lot of times pattern printing programs you should be able to write pattern printing programs whatever the pattern might be also focus on matrix and relationship between rows and columns you need to solve flow control programs Also go through data structure basics like searching, sorting, arrays, linked list, stack, queue. Now most important thing, most students what they do whenever they are preparing for coding part, they just read the uh, various problem statements given on various websites and they just go through the solutions. Please just don't go through the solutions. You have to write the program on your own. Try to write the programs and then check where the mistake is, okay? Practice at least 50 problem statements. last uh, but very important part the essay writing part so in essay writing the main thing is the structure you need to always divide your essay into introduction the body part which will consider the positive and negative sides of the topic and the conclusion time management is going to be very crucial in essay type writing you can say essay typing because most of the time students uh, they try to write the introduction and by the time they write body uh the time gets over and they are not able to write the conclusion so you have to practice essay writing with a 20 minute timer okay so while practicing this at least type 20 essays in the coming days to get a grip about how much time you are taking for each part okay try to divide your 20 minutes and allot some time for writing introduction give some time for the body part and the remaining time for the conclusion part You can also keep three to four minutes in buffer to check if there are any grammatical or spelling mistakes which you have done, and also you can give time to check whether all the points you have covered, uh, depending upon the topic given in the essay. So now in the remaining ten to twelve days, you need to dedicate at least five hours daily. I know it will be difficult for you to do that uh, considering your college schedule, okay? But it is very important to give at least five hours. wherein you can dedicate 30 minutes for your essay preparation around 1.5 hours for your quantitative aptitude preparation you can give 30 minutes for your verbal ability preparation you can give another 1.5 hours for your coding preparation and 1 hour for reasoning so in this way if you divide 5 hours of your day then it will be very easy for you to face the exam I know it will take hard work and lot of patience to dedicate 5 hours daily but definitely if you do this then it will be very very easy and you will be able to crack the wipro test the most important thing once you uh, feel that you have completed a lot of topics while studying try to take up some test series and solve test series with a timer it will help you to analyze the time you take for each section time is the most important thing in this wipro test since the level of questions will not be very very difficult there will be easy and medium level questions but the time given will be very less so it is important you solve test series with timer now most important part how we can help you in your remaining 10 to 12 days of preparation so we have launched our uh, wipro nth 2020 crash course so this crash course it will require around 7 to 10 days of your dedicated hard work to crack the wipro test So in this we are covering 16 plus hours of coding lectures covering 70 plus Wipro specific programming statements with additional programming statement PDF. We have also covered 16 plus hours of aptitude lectures covering all previous year Wipro questions from quantitative reasoning and verbal. We have covered 50 plus hours of concept clearing videos for quant reasoning and verbal for the students who want to revise or study the topic from the basic. if any uh, topic they want it from the basic 
we have provided five timer based full length wipro specific tests for quant reasoning and verbal with video solutions for all the test questions okay generally whenever you are solving any test series it becomes difficult later to uh, know the questions so it will be very easy for you to know the solutions for the questions since we have provided video solutions we have also provided 25 timer based essay tests so these essay tests will make sure that you perform very well in the final wipro test in the essay writing section also okay so as i said previously you will take around 7 to 10 days to complete this course if you uh, consider 4 to 5 hours of daily hard work currently the price of this crash course is 599 you can visit our website to purchase this crash course i have provided the link in the description of this video so uh, if you have got any uh, doubts you can comment on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our telegram channel our telegram channel we are constantly uploading wipro specific videos the link for the telegram channel also i have provided in the description of this video thank you